how to install VOS 3.0 based on Android 10 on the Xiaomi Poco F1. Hey peeps, what's up? Manchi here, back with another video. And in this video, I'm going to show you how you can install VOS 3.0 Android 10 ROM on the Poco F1. If you have any questions about what is VOS, which company makes it, you will find answers to all those questions in the pinned comment on this video. Now, what are the prerequisites for this video? Well, you need to have an unlocked bootloader and you need to have TWAP recovery installed. How do you do that? I have separate videos for both of those, which can be found in the description of the video. Next thing, make sure your battery is charged at least 50 to 60%. Do not do this process if your battery is at 20 or 30%. Now, those of you whose device is encrypted, you need to do a format data, which means you're going to lose all your pictures, videos, and anything important which you have on your device. Now, how do you know whether your device is encrypted or not? Well, you can go into settings, password and security, and privacy. For me, as you can see, encryption and credentials says phone is not encrypted, which means my phone is not encrypted or it is decrypted. If it says over here for you that your phone is encrypted, in that case, at the end of flashing the ROM, you will have to do a format data. Next up, all the files which we need are linked in the description of the video and you need two files. So for starters, you need the firmware only for the POCO F1. We are using 11.0.8.0, which is the latest at the time of recording this video. Then you need the VOS file itself and this contains all the necessary files. Next thing we need to do is remove all the security measures and accounts. So we'll go into settings back into password and security and you need to remove your password, fingerprint unlock and face unlock. Once that is done, you'll go back, go into me account and remove your me account. Once that is done, you'll go back, go into accounts and sync and remove your Google account. Once you've removed all the accounts and security measures, make sure you reboot your device once. Why are we removing all the accounts and security measures? Well, we're doing this because we're going from one ROM to another and I don't want you to be locked out of your own device next question which i get a lot is what if i am on a custom rom well in that case you have to skip the steps which are not applicable to you and one of them would be to remove your me account and that would be applicable if and only if you are on a custom rom which is based on aosp if you are on a custom rom which is based on miui then you will have to of course remove your me account next thing we need to do is boot into to a recovery for that the first thing we're going to do is turn off our device and once the device has turned off we're going to press and hold volume up and power button at the same time till you see the to up recovery boot logo once we have booted into to up recovery we're going to wipe advanced wipe and select dalvik cache system vendor and data and then swipe to wipe in case you do not get the option for vendor then you're not using an appropriate version of to up recovery i have linked the version which i am using in the description of the Video. Once the process has finished successfully, we'll tap on the home button, go into install, and now you need to navigate to the folder where you have downloaded all the files. In case you downloaded the files on your phone directly, they will be in the download folder. In my case, I have transferred them manually, so they are in the root directory. The first file which we need to flash is the firmware file. So I'm going to select the firmware file, tap on add more zips, and the next file which we need to flash is the VOS file, and then swipe to confirm flash. Now once both the files have flashed successfully, we will scroll up a little and here it is, you can see that we have script succeeded. So this is for the firmware file and then you also have a message which says that in case you're stuck at the boot logo, do a hard reboot. And this is for your VOS or vSmart OS. Next thing, we'll tap on the home button. Now those of you whose device was encrypted, again, if your device was encrypted, you'll go into wipe format data type in yes and then click on the check mark button on the bottom right of the keyboard in my case my device was not encrypted or it was decrypted so i am not going to do a format data and we do not have to flash disable force encryption again if your device was decrypted or not encrypted you do not have to flash disable force encryption it is baked into vsmart os or VOS. All we are going to do is tap on reboot and select system. If you get a message that no OS is installed, ignore it, swipe to reboot. And there it is. We do have the boot animation from VOS or vSmart OS 
on our POCO F1, which means our device is booting into vOS 3.0 or vSmartOS, whatever you prefer to call it. Now, the first boot up will take some time, so you have to be patient. And another thing you need to note is that if you're stuck on the boot animation for long enough, just perform a hard reboot, wherein while you're still at the boot animation, just press and hold the power button till your device reboots. Anyways, we have booted into vOS 3.0 and let me skip the initial setup real quick so this is how it looks like and it did find some duplicate applications let me just tap on removing applications we can now go into settings and then we'll go into about phone and then we are going to tap on software information so there it is vos version is 3.0 android version is of course android 10 and the security patch is from may of first 20 20 the kernel is by amog and the build is by adil amog and vijay so there it is peeps that is how you install vos 3.0 or vsmart os 3.0 on your poco f1 and that will do it for this video hope my video helped you likes shares and subscribes are appreciated feedback and comment more than welcome see you when i see you